It is a cultural problem. It has become a norm. In the West, of course, it's normal. Parents, you know, encourage their little kids in kindergarten. You know, parents, they, when they, they go to pick up their kids and the little kid says, oh, this is my girlfriend. Oh, kiss her. <laughs> Only three years old for you. Give her a kiss. And pick a, pick, take a picture and, you know. It's very, very. So, okay. That's a culture which promotes love outside of marriage as a norm. They argue and they defend it. What's the difference between fornication and marriage? A piece of paper. That's all it is. That piece of paper. But no, in Islam, it is about protecting the family. Protecting the building blocks of the society. It's more than a piece of paper. It is a concept. And that is why the law is so severe. Islamic hudud, which address adultery and fornication, etc. Very severe. People are shocked when they hear it. You stone people to death. Lash them a hundred times. Just for that? Well, Islam takes that position because it wants to protect that foundation. To have a wholesome society where children are raised with a proper understanding of their roles their relationships, etc. 